And now, broadcasting from the top of the skyscraper that is the Markham Hall on the Rogers State University campus in Claremore, it's Green Country's most exciting radio show, Free Association. And now, here is the Fort Smith Fireball, your champion of chicken, and your deluxe dueling DJ, Mark Lane. How are you folks doing over there in Claremore? This is Mark Lane broadcasting from my home state of Arkansas. Don't worry, I'll be back to Claremore whenever classes start. But uh, here we are at the start of a show, so what do we have to look forward to? We have to look forward to the headlines, which we'll go ahead and look at. This, uh, these malaria-proof mosquitoes I've been promoting since Monday. Jokes and your requests at 343-7913. That's what we have to look forward to on this edition of Free Association. So let's get it kicked off with Wolf Parade with Palm Road right here on Free Association. Arcade Fire with the Suburbs right here on Free Association. I'm Mark Lane, and whether you're listening to 91.3 FM in the suburbs or out in the rest of green country, the phone line remains the same, 343-7913 if you have a request. And then before that we had Everest with Let Go, and before that we had Devo with Don't Shoot, but we are going to shoot and take a look at the headlines here on MSNBC.com. I like MSNBC.com because... It, it just has a, a better layout uh, as opposed to, you know, the other news uh, websites out there. So I, that makes me a communist now, I bet, because I use MSNBC.com here. All right, what's going on in the world? Tiger Woods endorsements down $22 million. Oh, that explains why I must be a poor college student then. I hitched my financial wagons to him and he's down $22 million. What else? Statue of Liberty evacuated due to smoke. Uh, that, big deal. It's The smoke's probably coming off the old lady's torch. It's been burning for, what, like 120 years now. Let's see. What else? Obama signs reform of financial rules into law. Oh, I can see how this one went. Let me be clear. Uh, that's financial reform. Uh, does not punish uh, capitalists at all. Uh, what it does... Uh, is prevent uh, greedy people uh, from tearing down this economy uh, and creates jobs. That's probably what went on. Uh, your only choice for true alternative music, 91.3 FM. That was the Black Keys with Next Girl. And I'm Mark Lane, and my show is Free Association. And last week on my show, I mentioned Dane Cook. Um, and I heard that on the replay, and I was thinking... What, what did happen to Dane Cook? No, seriously, don't you remember back uh, 2007, 2008 when everybody on their Facebook f pages they'd have these they would join a group that would say, that they would say they wanted Dane Cook to come to their college like that meant something. Yeah, you're gonna get a Facebook group together that says I want Dane Cook to come to my college, and he's gonna come to the college. And you'd see all kinds of colleges that would have them, not just RSU. Not just uh, the local one here in Fort Smith. You see, like, Dodge City Community College uh, wants Dane Cook to come here. <laughs> You'd see that stuff all the time. But where is Dane Cook? I was looking at his Wikipedia page. Since 2008, he has not appeared in a feature film. Uh, he had an album release or something or other on November, back in November of 2009. But where is Dane Cook? He was supposed to be this, you know, great comedian and everybody was in love with him. And now I don't know where he is. So, well, we know where the true alternative music is. It's coming right up with Sarah Zeno with Broken Down on 91.3. Monsters of Folk with Ahead of the Curve right here on Free Association. And before that song, we had what the, Faded Paper Figures with Invented All Again. And before that, Sarah Zeno with Broken Down. And I, Mark Lane, am not broken down because I enjoy hosting my show, Free Association. And hopefully you enjoy listening to it right here on 91.3 FM. Now, the request line remains open at 343-7913. So if you have requests, let's let's hear about it and let's get it in the in the uh, let's get it in the rotation there because Turbo and KO are about to to, to go home at five. So. <laughs> ah, 
Yes, time is ticking away. It is ticking away on the request line. So, so let's get going. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you about these new malaria-proof mosquitoes that the scientists at the University of Arizona have been have been conducting experiments on. Now, what they have done is they have they've basically supercharged the immune systems on mosquitoes to where they digest the parasite that causes malaria. Okay, here's how malaria works. A mosquito gets a parasite in it that causes malaria, then it bites you then you know, then it bites you with its proboscis there, and then you get malaria. That's usually how it works. But what they're doing now is the mosquito will digest that parasite so that the, when the mosquito that when the mosquito bites you, you shouldn't get infected with malaria at that point. Oh no, it's not gonna do anything with regards to uh, making sure the mosquitoes don't bite you. No, it's just gonna make sure that you don't get malaria the next time the mosquito bites you. That's all. <laughs> no, why can you use what I understand? If we're making the mosquitoes to where they can digest the, the malaria, the, the malaria causing parasite, why not invent mosquitoes that like tofu? You know, they they can only eat soy. They can only drink soy milk, not your blood. That's the kind of mosquito I'd like. Miniature tigers with tropical birds on ninety one point three FM, and I'm Mark Lane, and I'm no bird brain. Even though I got beat by a thirteen year old in chess, maybe they'll put that in the online right there on Will Rogers Boulevard. Mark Lane loses in chest a 13 year old. I can see it now. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I still have some great friends out there even if I if I may lose to 13 year olds in chess. Uh, some of my great friends include Jake Break here in Arkansas. This, uh, this new kind of church that I go to. He's a, a friend that I met there. Now, I know I, on the show before I referred to him as Jake the Snake, and, and he still is married to Mama Cita Lolita. So, I'm just changing his name. Because Jake the Snake makes me think of, of Jake Plummer, who beat the Dallas Cowboys uh, when he was quarterback of the Arizona Cardinals in 1998. And they beat the Cowboys in the 98 wild card playoffs at home in Texas Stadium. So, I can't think of that. He's got to have a new name. So, Jake Break it is. See how that works out? I like the name. And, and uh, for him, we're going to go ahead and play... Any of the cold play, put it in right right now, and then we'll get to the agrolites, the agrolites with the sufferer on free association. <laughs> 